Hi, this is Tara Green. It's September the 26th already. And here's the aspect of the day. The moon has entered Aquarius. It's we're in an air sign element. Aquarius is the sign of freedom, rebellion, liberation, higher consciousness, um, going against the grain, tearing down the old and building the new. It's the sign of inventors and pioneers and liberation and working together. And so we can see that energy coming in, especially as we're gonna go into a little age of Aquarius here. Now, big aspect of the day, as you can see, is Venus right there in Leo, uh, where she's very proud. She's the star, she's the queen, she wants to be the boss, she's dressed in gold. She's very dramatic. And so things are feeling very intensely dramatic these days, especially uh, as where you've got this in conjunct or quincunx, 150 degree angle to Pluto and Capricorn. So a lot of deep down buried feelings, things are in your bones, things that kind of soul work. That's what Pluto is always about, the deep soul work, the things that's buried in your DNA, your ancestors, a lot of old heavy issues that we've been carrying around are now going up against pride. Uh, and pride, you know, comes before a fall. So we might be putting on a face that we're really strong and together, but inside not really feeling that. Um, this is a bit of a difficult aspect, and yet it will be working out in your dreams in the middle of the night, but it will carry over into the day. So it can come down as difficult with relationships, the heart's feeling blocked or pressured or needing to transform. There's a sense of needing to let go of many things to allow for new things. I'm certainly feeling this heavy energy, especially as we're building into Saturn, uh, changing direction here. So the blissful waves of Aquarius, you can see those two waves, <clears throat> they are electrical waves in a sense. I know Aquarius is a water sign, but it's very electric, electric avenue. Uh, moon trining the sun in Libra, so that's a very nice airy lightening up aspect. Waking up feeling like, oh, I can breathe. It's an air sign we want to breathe. I hope we can breathe in California there. And everybody's so tensed up, you just have to remember that you need to breathe to stay in balance. So Mercury sextiles Chiron and Aries uh, later in the day that gives us an easy aspect to open up, to let go of our armor and our defenses. Our bodies might be holding a lot down. And the moon squares Uranus in Taurus. Now that one is interesting because of course Uranus rules the sign of Aquarius in modern astrology. And Taurus is the very stubborn fixed sign that does not want to budge. But Aquarius is also a fixed sign. So, um, you know, we need to let go. I know I call Uranus and Taurus the cosmic cattle prod. So, you know, if you don't move, the universe will zap you. Um, you don't volunteer to do that. So, you know, better be kind to yourself and know you have to let go of some things. You have to move on. You have to change your thinking at this point and your feelings and just detach from all of those things that you need, you think you need to hold on to so long. Now, we have a preview here of uh, Sunday the 27th, very light day. As you can see, Mercury is entering Scorpio though, which is a big shift in energy because our minds, our consciousness are now deeply into the emotions, into soul territory, into can be very dark things. Uh, we're moving into the darker time of the year. Scorpio is all about you know, power and control, money, sex, death, all the biggies taboo things, um, finances. So they're gonna be a big turnover in terms of financial issues. The stock market does tend to crash in October, always we are heading into that. Um, so your mind and your sexuality become united and Mercury it will go retrograde later in October. But right now the moon is opposed to Venus and Leo. So again, you know, oppositions are tense, but they can be, again, balancing as well, um, giving us a sense of, looking at all those dramas from a higher perspective, and that is a good thing. So sending you all the best blessings. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm at terratero.com. Please follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress.com. Uh, please sign up and follow me here on YouTube. I'm on Twitter and on Instagram. Sending you many blessings for the weekend.